School is set to start tomorrow, and many critical issues remain for GDOE, including the conditions of schools, a brand new sexual misconduct policy, and the start of a school year without school resource officers. PNC's Tim Blas McHenry reports. There's a host of issues facing GDOE as we prepare to enter the 2016-2017 school year. We sat down with Acting Superintendent Joe Sanchez to get an update on some of those issues. For example, this year we'll start without school resource officers. Well, we, we're, we're, we've prioritized this, so we've, we've, uh, we've made that one of our, our major priorities. Uh, the RFP was already sent out. Uh, it's already been through the required 10 days. We already have a submission for the project. Uh, now I believe it's in the evaluation stage. I don't know if they've made a decision yet. GDUE has faced a year marred with cell phone captured school fights, or at least involving students. However, Sanchez says that right now he's a little hesitant to put a timeline on the project. He did say, however, that this was a fast moving process. He says right now the contract is in the evaluation stage. Once the evaluations are submitted, GDOE will look into awarding that contract. Meanwhile, the new sexual misconduct policy, which was supposed to be ready by the start of the school year, will remain in draft form come Thursday. So it won't be ready before school starts, and the, and the main reason for that is the board really wants to take their time to make sure that it's done right. We've gotten a lot of input from administrators. We've got input from uh, the board members. Uh, now we want to make sure that we speak to the union, we get some teacher input. Last week, the Guam Education Board decided to extend Superintendent John Fernandez's leave amidst an investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct and extortion. Meanwhile, there are the conditions of the schools. Last week, the Guam Education Board blasted GDOE officials specifically on the conditions of Benevente Middle School. There is leaking and seeping in the cafeteria. Sanchez says right now GDOE does not have the funds to garner a complete and long-term fix of the problem. However, we have our facilities and maintenance group up there working on the, the current uh, leaking and uh, you know the, the seeping that's coming into the, the, the cafeteria. But uh, we're, we're trying to look for longer term solutions to that as well. Right now we're trying to work within the amount of money and resources that we have uh, right now. But that's being addressed. To help you be prepared for the upcoming school year, be sure to visit our website at PacificNewsCenter.com and for a full list of the new bell schedule as well as the bus schedules. For PNC News, I'm Tim Bosmakin.